If you are going to take an online course, then this video is going to be very important for you. Stay till the end. Due to the lockdown, a number of students and professionals have plenty of time and they are utilizing their time by doing some online courses, by taking some online courses, which is a wonderful thing. But I want to ask a question from those who have already taken it. Are these online courses really adding some kind of value to your resume? Or are you taking these courses, are you pursuing these courses just for the sake of it, just for adding something to your resume? Or even worse, are you taking these, are you pursuing these online courses because everyone else around you is also pursuing these online courses? The reason behind pursuing any course, whether it is online or offline, should be absolutely clear. And I want to uh, mention the name of a forum that is Food Technoways whose article on LinkedIn inspired me to make this video for you. So here are some common examples that people are doing and the examples that I have observed. They are taking e-courses from Food Standards Agency. They are taking e-courses from some random organization who is preaching about COVID-19. They are taking courses on social media management, digital management and so on. Now personally, I have nothing against these organizations, but here is the problem. The Food Standards Agency is a UK, that is United Kingdom based agency. And ask yourself if you are going to pursue a job in India, in this country, then are the rules of the food regulations and laws, are they going to apply here in India as well? Now you might also say that the Food Standards Agency based in UK is providing these courses free of cost. These are completely free of cost. And I completely agree with you. These are free of cost, but that doesn't mean that the laws, the food regulations and laws that are based in UK will also apply in India. Now think deeply about it. Are you really going to take some courses just because they are free of cost and they do not apply? They do not apply to the scope of Indian rules and regulations. Are you really going to take it? And same principle goes for the courses such as social media marketing or digital marketing. Really ask yourself, are you really going to apply digital marketing in a food industry? Now, it could be possible that you are running a social media page or something like that because like for me, I am running a page on Instagram, I'm, I'm running a YouTube channel, I'm also running a LinkedIn page. So it is important for me to understand digital marketing or social media marketing. But really ask yourself, are you just doing this for the sake of adding something to your resume? Now, before you start taking any online course, ask yourself these three questions. Why am I taking this course? What is the reason behind it? Is it going to be relevant in the food industry? Am I really going to apply the knowledge from this course in my job or business? If the course is not relevant from industrial point of view, or if you are not going to apply the knowledge that you have gained from the course uh, into your job or in your business, then really what is the point of taking the course in the first place? Now I know that a lot of students are actively watching my videos and they don't have any specific knowledge that how a food industry operates and what kind of course will be relevant to a specific food industry or if they even if they take an online course are they really going to apply it in the food industry and if they don't have that knowledge i completely understand that because they they may not have taken any kind of internship or they may not have any kind of exposure to the food industry so here are my recommendations for you you can take the fast track training for covid 19 you can take the hecp level 1 from intertech sgs or tuv you can take any courses to improve your communication skills such as writing skills, public speaking or presentation skills. All right, so that's it. That's it. These are just three types of certifications, Arib. <laughs> I know, I know that these are just three types of certifications, but these are really, they really have some weightage. They will really add some weightage to your resume. And pursuing an online course, pursuing an online certification course is not the only way to level up your profile. There are some other methods and there are some other ways you can utilize your time during this lockdown. Check out this video that I made recently so that you can know that how you can utilize your free time. During last couple of weeks, I have been observing on LinkedIn that a lot of people are posting the images of certificates. And let me tell you, this is not going to level up your profile. This is not going to boost your profile. So I have made a separate video that what should you do? What is the option that will actually boost your profile if you do that correctly? I will Put the link down in the description so that you can check the video for yourself. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.